After one local family received the news that their baby was diagnosed with Kraba disease, a message they hope to share is the importance of getting newborn screenings. Wednesday, Mount Top spoke with parents Alexandria and James Absher about Emma's story. Emma was born December 27th at uh, 8.13 a.m. Uh, she was 6 pounds, 11 ounces, 19 inches long. She was perfectly healthy. Um, no problems at birth. Two days later, we took home a healthy baby. And then on January 1st, we received a call from a geneticist in Lexington, Kentucky, who said that um, Emma's newborn screening came back abnormal. On January 1st, Emma Absher was diagnosed with Kraba disease, a severe neurological condition that affects the nervous system. According to MedlinePlus.gov, children with Kraba disease rarely survive past the age of two. And as Absher says, not all states require testing. The faster these babies are diagnosed, the better chances are that they will be able to receive treatment in time. Because most of the time, um, they don't find out that they have crab A until they start to show symptoms. As Emma's condition was caught early, she will undergo an experimental treatment known as an umbilical cord blood transplant. As for how Kraba works, both parents must contain the gene to pass it on. How your child gets crab A disease is the parents, both parents have to be carriers. And then they pass down a mutated gene. And it's a one in four chance that your child will have crab A disease. So we have one perfectly healthy child. And then we have one who has crab A disease. And we had no idea that we were carriers until Emma was diagnosed. Following her diagnosis, Absher says she hopes other parents get tested as Emma's treatment is not a cure. It slows down the progression of the disease. Um, so eventually, sometime in her life, she will start to show symptoms and she will most likely have developmental delays and um, she may walk with assistance or she may never walk at all. She may be wheelchair bound. There's so many things that they can tell you about crab disease and then there's so many things that they can't tell you. Um, it's different for every child, and it's especially different for every child that has received transplants. If you would like to help Emma and her family, you can visit GoFundMe.com, keyword, Help Emmalyn Fight Kraba Disease. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.